our man, our wonderful friend Mario back. He brought us the Moon Sorrow and uh, who was it? Primordial. We did that reaction video to Primordial. And he's back. He says, you got to get back to some Virgin Steel. So that's exactly what we're going to do for him today. We're doing the song Agony and Shame. Now he says that uh, on the album, uh, what is it? The House of Atreus, Acts 1 and 2. He said the intro and the song Agony and Shame and the outro connect as one unit. I didn't know exactly how to do that, uh, where we would play the intro, then we would move to Agony and Shame, and then we would do the outro to the album. So he said, hey, look, if, if, that's, if that's like a cluster to do that, then let's just do the middle track, Agony and Shame. So that's exactly what we're going to do for our wonderful pal, Mario. So we're going to get into it. We've done Virgin Steel before, and so we're going to Go through and learn a little bit about this band that we're going to listen to the song Agony and Shame. If that sounds like a good idea to you, it sounds like a great idea to me. And I know it sounds like a great idea to Mario. So let's do it. Virgin Steel. They have 21,632 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. The top five jams that they have here. The Burning of Rome. 1.1 million plays. I Will Come For You. Uh, has 230,000 plays. Blood and Gasoline has 144,000 plays. Then from this album here, uh, Through the Ring of Fire has 137,000 plays. And then Invictus, 116,000 plays. Now we look into albums. What have they released over their illustrious career? It looks like uh, they've I don't know. All these years are wrong, so I will not name off the years because these guys are old school and their first album did not come out in 2014 and their last album did not come out in 2018. So we're just going to name off the albums. Uh, the Marriage of Heaven and dot 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 Hell, part one and two. Uh, Invictus. Then you've got uh, Nocturnus of Hell, Fire and Damnation. Yes. Uh, a lot of long titles that run off and they do the dot dot like, hey, there's more here. Uh, then this album right here where the song Agony and Shame is from, The House of Atreus Act 1 and 2. You got Vision of Eden. You got the, rock, the, the Book of Burning, Hymns to Victory, Ghost Harvest, Gothic Voodoo Anthems, and Ghost Harvest again with different artwork. I don't know what that means. I do not know what that means there. Now what we like to do is we look into the related artists. Who do people listen to when they listen to Virgin Steel? Uh, who might Mario listen to when he's listening, when he's in the mood for some Virgin Steel and, and artists like that? Who might they have played shows with and such and so on? Yes, the old schoolers. Jag Panzer. You've got Heaven's Gate. Running Wild. We know them, right? Gravedigger. We just did a reaction video to Gravedigger. Uh, Rage. We have done Rage before. Storm Witch, we've done a first listen to Storm Witch. Crimson Glory, we did a reaction video to one of their songs. Sabotage, we've done on the channel. Omen, we have done on the first listen. Storm Warrior, Iron Savior, Vicious Rumors. Great band. And we have done um, a first listen to a new track from Vicious Rumors. And we've also done a reaction video to Don't Wait For Me. I believe that was the song that we did. And they do have the image there that we've talked about before, and they do have a bio, so we're going to get into that. You've got the three guys sitting, sitting in the backyard. they got the wood fence up there for privacy, you know, they might have a swimming pool or something. Some kind of a weird, uh, uh, is that kind of a Hindu or India, uh, India kind of a little uh, statue sitting there? And then you've got uh, the one guy standing in the back uh, with his glasses on, and the guy sitting in the front with the glasses on, and you got the long-haired guy with the beautifully sculpted beard saying, you know, I'm going to sit here in the sunlight, listen to the birds chirp, and tell Shane, Shane, you're a damn cool guy. An American-made power metal outfit beloved in Europe, Virgin Steel skillfully assimilated classical influence into its romantic, symphonic bass sound. Emerging in the 1980s, the group perfected its signature blend of melody and might on 1985's Noble Savage, drawing... Did I say Savage? Savage. Uh, drawing comparisons to progressive power metal contemporaries like Man o War, I love them, and Queensryche. They're pretty good. Subsequent offerings like the, the Marriage of Heaven and Hell trilogy, 1995-98, the Metal Opera, uh, House of Atreus, 1999-2000, the chamber music-inspired Gnostic concept LP Vision of Eden, Vision of Eden, 2006, and the genre-spanning Nocturnes 
of Hellfire and Damnation 2015. So they're still going. I'm reading that so fast, ain't I? Ain't I a fast reader? I think I'm a pretty fast reader, Mario. I think I'm pretty good at it. So it is that time for Mario. Mario, I apologize. I will tell everyone, go check out the intro, then listen to the song Agony and Shame, then listen to the outro, and then get in the comments below and tell me how that worked out for you. Uh, this th they got a lot of tracks on this. They've got a lot of songs on this album. How long is this sucker? Um, 51 songs. And it's 3 hours and 14 minutes long on Steam Hammer Records. Because I'm just a scrolling through here trying to find agony and shame. Uh, okay, here we go. It is that time. Magic nipple in hand. I give you a taste. I take the taste. We listen to agony and shame for, together for the first time. Here we go. Yeah, epic. You can see somebody coming into their uh, into their kingdom or their palace, waving it around, riding a horse. I can see these guys on tour with Man of War for sure. I can see Man of War singers singing this. Feed you to the vultures? Nice uh, backing vocal melodies there. Yeah, I can see sword fighting, I can see blood spilling, all of it. Picking it up. Give the drummer some. Ooh, that sounds nice. I love that in solos when they stop the music, you know. And the solo keeps playing.
Rakkerne i en sang. He's won the battle. He's got blood spilled all over him. Is this the same song? I better check. No. I'm going to go ahead and stop that because that was Gates of Kings. And that went beautifully right into that. But I'm going to stop that right there because just the way it kind of went. There's a rainbow. I just went, ah, uh, that's, I think I, I think I'm hitting this right, right? Uh, what say you? Uh, that sounds like one of those epic albums that you, uh, man, three, three and a half hours is a long time. That's something you put on, uh, and do some serious lawn work too, right? Uh, what say you? Most important part of my video is where you get in the comments below and tell me everything you know about the band Virgin Steel. Uh, everything you know about this, uh, the House of Atreus, uh, Acts 1 and 2. Uh, everything you know about the band. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I'm a huge fan of Virgin Steel and I'm about to spill a bunch of knowledge on you. Uh, I'm going to give you everything that your, your heart would ever desire to know about Virgin Steel. Uh, what are your favorite albums and your favorite songs from the band? And have you ever seen them live? Were you lucky enough to see them in their prime live? I would love to hear those stories. What was it like the first time you ever heard a song from Virgin Steel? How did that hit you in the goody spots, right? Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, I'm a fan of power metal uh, and storytelling and concept albums, but I'm just, I'm not that into it. Uh, it was good stuff, but I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm going to give it a pass, a hard pass. Say it's not my cup of tea and move on. All of that can be put in the comments below. Okay, Mario, wonderful. Uber Elite, Shane Diallo member, Mario coming in with that one. Um, if you have a hard rock or heavy metal special request and you'd like to see it on the channel, click them links in the description below. We'll get it on for you in your honor with love to you and hearts and dreams and, and wishes to you. But that's all I got for this, okay? Swinging in for that kiss and loving so much. Virgin Steel.